Cover beat Bo 212 to 204. And they start even the last game. Dick Weber, 14 pin advantage. Winner of 13 Professional Bowlers Association titles. Bo Burton, winner of one PBA title. 15 300 games and a 299 in this event. He kicked it. He was worried about that shot. He's had trouble on lane 25. Holds the ball underneath the ball. He keeps his hand in this position throughout the entire pendulum swing, lifting the ball over the foul line with a quarter turn, a full follow through. Bo Burden under the ball, straight with the wrist. Over the line, he's got to hold it. I think he let up, Bob. Looked a little slow, Ray, and like he also, he might have lost the ball a little bit, laid it down just a little bit sooner. As you've been stating, the key fact in a lot of this good bowling out here has been getting the ball well over the line in this particular establishment. Well, Bo has been very strong in this department. But one bad pitch, and Dick Weber with a double up is difficult for Bo to overcome. He holds the ball under the ball, shoulder height. Pushes the ball forward with the first step. This is very important for the average bowler as well as for the pro bowler. Push the ball with the first step. This ball he got over the line better, Bob. What a difference. You can tell at this point, Dick Weber is 36 pins on the plus side. And with a big key ball coming up right here. Nick Weber, 36. Bo Burton, 23. 13 years difference. Over the line. Oh, he kicked it. That's been his famous carry throughout the entire tournament, kicking the high four pin. What has been the average age of the bowlers in this tournament, Bob? Well, according to our Burroughs computer that we have here, Ray, the average age of the 432 men in this tournament is 42. What's the women's? I think it came back with the answer on the Burroughs computer to mind your own business. <laughs> Over the line, four in a row, Dick Weber, four in a row. Getting the ball over the foul line, his arm is coming straight up, a full follow through. And he's going to run her out just a little bit. Perfect. I think he knew he had that one, Bob. He sure did charge that mistake Bo made. this strike they have a shot he got it he's not giving up he's fighting back hard need his wife's in the stands I'm sure she's anxious about uh, Dick's welfare and with the uh, 459 total and four in a row uh, he's pretty well it's my rich friend Whoever gets this will be a little wealthy for a while. Over the line, got a hold. That's that four pin. That's the four pin. That's the key pin of the entire tournament. Kick the four. You know, Bob, I thought you were going to win this tournament, uh, and then you bowled Dick Weber one morning, and you needed a strike to win. And uh, how many did you get? I came up with a kind of a small eight pin count, Ray, and I could have been a big turning point in this whole finals match as far as the American division was concerned. Well, I, I think that was a big turning point. You gave Dick a game there. I hate to say it, Bob. We'll be back with more of this all-star bowling tournament in just a minute. Dick Weber taking a 47 pin advantage over Bo Burton. Dick will bowl his fifth frame is on a string of four strikes. At this point, I'm quite sure Dick is confident, but at the same token, Bo has had a history of stringing strikes on lanes 25 and 26, and Dick has had a history of bowling bad on this pair. I'm sure he knows this fact, and five in a row would make him breathe just a little bit easier. Right hand side of the lane, bowls the ball between the first and second arrow. Five in a row, a sweeper. 
He's rolling that ball. That ball is rolling with such power. Here again. Ball at the foul line, following through. A swisher. That looks good. Reminds me of Bob Strampy. It looks so good when they go down that way, Ray. One for six in a row. It's got a hold, Bob. It had to hold. That was going high. Dick wanted it. Everybody else wanted it also. Everybody wants to see a 300 game. I think these high scores in the 300s uh, at Pro Bowl in Lansing, Michigan, uh, have kept us all nice and warm with the zero weather. At this point, Dick Weber did have 57 pins. Let's subtract 11 and make it about 46. I wonder if Dick might be looking back a little bit later in this game and taking a good look at that spare. Well, you know, you don't open the door up for anybody, especially these professionals. This is a big one for Bo Burton. This could put the pressure back onto Richard. A little light. That was a big opportunity there, Bob. It's a big opportunity for him, Ray, but that was the lane 26 where he had the 4-6 split, and I don't think Bo wanted to do that again, so he was determined to keep it a little bit light, I believe. You feel it was a slight overcorrection? I believe so. Perfect spare. You now, I want to say hello to Steve Nagy, uh, who is back in the hospital recuperating from his heart attack, and I want to tell him that all his friends certainly wish him well. Bo Burton needing every strike at this point. Has room for 236. He has to have it. Two thirty-six would give Bo six hundred and eighty-one. Forty-five pin difference between Weber and Bo Burton. That looked like a pretty good hit there, Bob. Have you had many ten pins in this tournament? Well, there have been a few, Ray, and uh, most of them have come when the ball has been swinging from a little bit sharp angle coming in. And the six just kind of lays flat right down in the channel. Moves to the left hand side, cross lane shot on the 10. Executed perfectly. There's no doubt on the singles pins. I, I said that before, and uh, Dick missed the nine. $15,000. $7,500 seconds. Over to the right of the screen is Johnny Johns, owner of the Pro Bowl. He laid it down. He laid it down too soon. He didn't have a good follow-through, Bob. I think Dick might just be letting up just a little bit here, although I can't believe it. He laid it down a little bit early. He's letting the ball, uh, I'd say he's cutting it short at the foul line. He let it go too soon. Two, four, five, seven, and the end up with two, five. Might have had a lucky break on that carry, Bob. It could have been uh, the two, four, five, seven, the way the stop action shot looked. Dick Weber, 43 pins over Nelson Burton. Bo Burton has a strike up on lane 26. He went high on one ball, light on the other. This is the big shot. Over the line, follow through. That was a key shot. Every frame is a key frame. Bo is working hard. He has a potential 236 out there, Ray. And Dick Weber, if he strikes Spears out, uh, comes up with about 225, gives him 684. Bo Burton, if he strikes all the way out, has 681. So if Dick Weber stays clean this game, he can win the championship with no bad counts, and if Bo Burton goes all the way, he can still come close. He's coming. It's still in the wood. It's still in the wood. He's making a real run at it. I don't think he's charging anymore. I think he's galloping, Bob. Ball over the line. There's a perfect shot. Ball over the line. The hand coming through very strong. 
And look at that carry. 23 pins in the lead, Dick Weber. He followed through, has to come, has to come. I don't know how he carried that one, Bob. That was off the wall. Boy, that could be a big strike for Dick right there, looking at the pin count, uh, Ray. What? Uh, bad shot right there, and uh, we'd have had some fun in that roll-off. We sure would have. It could have come down. And even right now, Dick has to mark. I have a lot of confidence in Dick marking, but after that nine pin, uh, I'm going to have to wait and see what happens. Open line, follow through. It's got a hold. It held. It held too much. He has a ten pin. The ten pin, the championship. One frame. Moves to the left. Bowls the ball for the 10 pin cross lane. He's got it. He didn't even look nervous shooting that 10 pin, Bob. If Dick Weber strikes here, it automatically shuts out Bo Burton for the title. His fourth title ties him with Don Carter. Over the line. He's running it out. He's got it. He knows it. That's championship. That's four times. Terrific. There's that ball over the line. Follow through. Hand out to the right, right into the sock. Zeroed in. Strike. Bo Burton over the line. Follow through. Not giving up, showing everyone he has what it takes. He may not win this year. He'll be back next. I would say, Ray, that the bowlers on the tour and on the All-Star Tournament could count on young Bo Burton being back here and making another bid at this tournament. Well, Bo is by far one of our best young bowlers on the tour. Consistent every week. Sensational follow-through. Right again. 236, he can go for 681. Three pins separate him from crown and all the glory that goes with it. But I'll tell you that Dick Weber, the way he bowled throughout the entire tournament, there's nobody, nobody more deserving than Dick Weber. I think this might just mean Mr. Bowling will accept the fourth title award, right? Mr. Bowling is Dick Weber. He's been bowling with him a long time. He is terrific. We have Manny Levy presenting the checks to runner-up Bo Burton Jr and Dick Weber, the winner of the All-Star Tournament. Well, that's how it went out in Lansing, Michigan, and we're going to be back with the presentation ceremonies with Ray Bluth in just one minute. And now let's go back to Lansing, Michigan, where Joy Abel and Dick Weber have become the new champions in the All-Star Bowling Tournament. They're about to get their checks and their trophies. Here's Ray Blue. Say a word to the audience. Yes, I sure would. Uh, we at BPAA are very proud to have two such wonderful people represent us in our national championships. Congratulations to both of you, and may all of your future successes be as great as this one. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Manny Levy, President of the Bullet Drivers Association of America. And now it gives me great joy. That rhymes. Joy Abel. Both a beautiful game, the first game. You fought off our friend from Massachusetts. You deserve the title. Congratulations. You'll be around for many years to come as Bo. Dick? Thanks, Ray. Son of a gun, I've only bowled with him 13 years, and I think you displayed uh, the greatest effort of any bowler I've ever seen. You are Mr. Bowling. Congratulations. Just a sensational finish. Thank you very much. Wonderful, Ray. both of you. What are you going to do with all your money? Both of you. <laughs> I don't Joy. know. Uh, I've got some place for mine. You have some place, mm -hmm. Dick? Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep it all myself. Loan me some. <laughs> <laughs> this is Ray Luth, and for Bob Strampy also, we take you back to Jack Whitaker. All right, Ray, thank you very much. Bob Strampy, too, and of course, our congratulations to Joy Abel and Dick Weber. <laughs>